What are we doing here? We're getting ready to go out fishing for the day. I'm gonna go out on Tyler's boat and I'm just getting my sunscreen on. We love these raw element sticks. They're like a tinted sunscreen so they don't make you look all weird and they stay on like all day long and they're waterproof. And then more reef safe sunscreen protection because we're gonna be out there all day. Annabelle, what do you got there? <laughs> My first mahi. Ah, una chancleta, like we call it in Puerto Rico. Yo dije, yo le suelto otro poquito más. 
Ay, perdón, ready. Dios mío, te estoy contando. Look at those bloody hands of a woman. Look at that, you can see right through it. That's a good filet, I don't know. Probably better than all of us. Don't get up here. No, we don't have ice today, guys. So that was a super fun afternoon. We got a lot of strikes, didn't catch a ton of fish, but we've got a mahi in the fridge. My first one, so that was super first. fun. Uh, we'll be eating good tonight, that's for sure. Definitely we'll be doing a lot more fishing in the channel. So we might be setting the sailboat to have some outriggers, some small ones, and definitely because I love fishing. And we only eat eat fish that we catch we don't eat any other meat mm -hmm. so that is like our main source of protein uh, and, other than veggies and, and stuff like that for, we're very respectful with the ocean respectful of neptune's law so very grateful of all the fish you catch all right guys we're gonna go shower and take a nap and then cook up some dinner so we'll see you later <laughs> I love my life, 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 I love my life. No, no, we don't know what tomorrow might bring God the future, the hours away. So me I live my life today. But me I live my life today. Yeah, so long me make me talk when my want for talk, me have enough to say. So me I go live my life today. But me I go live my life today. So everybody help me sing it out. I love my life. I love my life. I love my life. So may I live my life today. Working. So Nestor just made that quarter inch piece of plywood, which was the part that was rotten. I just put like regular epoxy just mixed in just to so the plywood sucks it up and then it has a good bonding. So I have that drying get into the green stage I have some filler uh, epoxy and I'm gonna put it here on this uh, board okay. now I have some West system and some uh, some fairing and some thickening and I'm about to just slam it in there I'm putting some in a, some voids that he has up there nice yeah it looks like there was like a speaker or something mounted there at some point mm -hmm. and so Gerald or whoever took a piece of quarter inch you can see it on this side and just covered those holes um, to make this cabinet look nice and finished and so that's exactly what Nestor's doing yeah, I was like tabbed in right there a little bit. Oh yeah, look at that. And then below this, it's all tabbed in. Mm. I'm gonna put a couple set screws to hold it in place, I think. And, uh, and yeah, clean around it. Make it all neat and stuff. It's not structured all the tabbing is still good. Um, the, on the other side is a glass and super tab. We just had a little moisture. We dried it. I sealed it with epoxy. So, like you, she said, we just replaced this. It's all cosmetic. Okay, so this is what I've been working on here at the boat. I put a nice coat of epoxy all over this wood yesterday. It's all nice and dry today. Um, and I'm just gonna give it a little sanding with some like 150 probably and then I'm gonna start just giving that a coat of paint and I might um, just paint the top of that so it looks nice and clean and a little bit of these trim boards in here and this these walls so they're all ready Alright, so we are just replacing the seal on this deck fitting. So you know that we found a lake um, and we think that is the bed for the holding tank because it was extremely loose when I when I put a wrench on it to take it out. It was like that I took it out with my hands and it's where the water was. So we're just going to go ahead and rebed both of them 
the deck fitting for the pump out of the holding tank and the vent this is like a very practical tape for all this kind of stuff I don't know if people know about it in the marine but this is uh, like a flexible 3 8 tape that you use in automotive and uh, stuff so it's really cool to make lines to it takes the curve very well Look at this. This is beautiful. Everything is all painted mm -hmm. and white and clean. Mm -hmm. So, super exciting day on Christopher Robin. We have our chain plates, our backing plates, bolts, our nuts, washers, and we are ready to install these chain plates. Yeah, let's get to work. Nestor thinks he needs to grind some fiberglass and get the boat full of fiberglass dust, so that'll be fun. They call me Nestor the Whittler, the Whittler. So you can see there, there's like a lot of extra um, fiberglass where the chain plate lays from whoever reinforced this bulkhead very messily. So Nestor's just trying to flatten it out so that the backing plates sit nicely on the hull. She <laughs> All right, so we've got all of the backing plate areas cleaned up and we just wiped everything down with dinner, both the chain plates and outside of the boat where the chain plates are gonna mount. And Nestor's gonna tape them up and do some taping outside to just kind of prevent the life caulk from going everywhere and causing a huge mess. And we're installing three chain plates. The shroud and the lowers on the port side that we're gonna do now. Then we have to do the shrouds and the lowers on the starboard side. Then we have the whiskers in the front and the boomkin, bumpkin, bumpkin stays in the back. Look at this, all taped up. Oh, very nice. And maybe we'll actually install chain plates? I don't know. I'll believe it when I see it. Nestor just said to me earlier, we're minutes away from working all day long. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was pretty appropriate. Now some people might use spatula for this, but Nestor prefers a finger. Here it goes. All right, I'm just gonna get the backing plates. These are the easy ones. These are the first ones. The second ones are gonna be really hard. So these are the first ones right here. You can see Nestor already has those bolts in, so I'm just gonna put the backing plates right on there. Those ones are gonna be a little bit more difficult because I gotta slide them in and then Nestor's gotta push the pin through. There's... Flyers like that are so practical. This one for on this boat when I bought it, but I grew up with my dad. Building planes and stuff in kit planes, we use this so much. It's so practical. So there's even longer ones. I'll probably get some more. Maybe a longer one would be nice. Boat yoga. We call this boat bridge pose. Make sure you're lifting your hips and pushing down into your feet. Toes spread wide on the couch. <laughs> Maintaining your breath. <sighs>
Nestor's got the chain plates all on down here. They look great. And then this is what it looks like out here. So everything's spooched out there, but and we're just tightening up these bolts. I was using this Allen wrench, which is great. They're super convenient, but because it's such a long shaft, um, the handle starts twisting. So I just went and got this one, which will have a really short little shaft here and we'll be able to tighten them up a little tighter. Um, little technique this pipe right here even has a handle on it and everything it's for flushing our manual toilet but I just stuck it right on the Allen wrench and it gave me a bunch of extra leverage so we got those really tight on there it just fell in my hair so that's fun very nice hair's all cleaned up for now Nestor's hands are all cleaned up for now um, just so we're clear, the reason that that one was so difficult, you can see here, like, this is the first chain plate we did, right? There's one, two, three. There's one that's, like, kind of right there, and then if you look way up, there's the fourth one, all the way up there. On this one, in particularly difficult, because they're all right here on this bulkhead. So there's one, two... Three, the fourth one's way up there. So, there we go. Nestor's got three. Looks good. So exciting. Good morning, guys. We are back aboard and at work. Nestor was here bright and early at like 7 a.m. cleaning where the backing plates go. Um, on the starboard side, you saw us do that on the port side, kind of just scraping away at all of the fiberglass and giving them a nice flat place to sit. I've got the hose hooked up and I'm gonna just soak down all the chain plates and deck fittings on that port side that we've rebedded and make sure that nothing is leaking before we put all those cabinets back together. Work, work, work. Let's get to work. <laughs> and hoping that everything stays nice and dry. And we also rebedded this. So I'm just gonna soak that down. Let's go inside and make sure it's all still dry. Okay, so something got wet. Bunch, put a bunch of water on it. Looks like everything's leaking. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a leak right there on that screw that is on the cap rail one of the bolts that bolt into the cap rail that's what is leaking so that ah, there's two of them leaking so that's what's was ruining the whole cubby it was not all the fittings or anything else the chain plates are not leaking none of the stuff that we put yesterday is leaking it's a good thing that we found it. Wow, look what at about this, this hair. Leave in the comments if you like this haircut, hairdo. <laughs> because she'll be wearing it out in public. Like this, what do you think? Leave it in the comments. <laughs> so yeah, I'm super glad that I just decided to get out there with the hose and check it because it's something that we didn't know was leaking at all. Um, and is leaking a lot and would have just caused the same damage to everything that we just fixed. More chain plates installed this morning. Very exciting. So that's all of our shrouds and lowers. Yeah. So this whole cap rail was damaged when Christopher Robin um, got loose during Hurricane Irma. So Nestor actually replaced a good hunk of this cap rail and this small piece you can kind of see is like an odd shape that he's working on right now. Seems to be leaking. There's just a few, a few screws in there. We're gonna pop that off, see what we can't seal up, and then 
eventually put it back down with a bunch of 5200 and hope that that's all good. It looks like this back here is definitely where the leak's been. So it definitely feels moist. I always love it when we start sawing our boat apart. The leak was right here on the seam of these two pieces of wood. Nestor decided that he was going to cut the other piece of wood so that we can seal anything that was under either one of them. Make sure that none of it is Yeah, leaking. because look at that gap. Yeah. It's not wood. Project number two, we didn't realize we were going to have to do. Oh yeah. I think the cleaning goes a long way. We open the holes that we're not using and try and fill them up. and just seal up anything that's possibly leaking. Just fill in all those little holes that we're not using up. And Nestor just put the last screw in and it split. Ship shape what? I don't know, I'm over it. I could care less. I think I just kind of generally am feeling like a little depressed about the whole boat situation. <laughs> project after project after project and never really being able to like go and sail and enjoy ourselves. I feel like we've been working on Christopher Robin for like five years or something. I mean, we worked on Ventana as well in there, but... So many things we did. We've barely gone anywhere or done anything, and so I'm just kind of, like, overwhelmed by the whole thing, and, like, my idea of being on a sailboat is, like, sailing and laying in hammocks and drinking mocktails, and what it really is is, like, us here covered in light caulk, installing chain plates and finding multiple extra projects that have to get done in order to do that and like our whole house is like torn apart and Nestor like thrives through these kind of things he like loves a project loves getting in there fixing shit like and I like to have my home like super organized and clean and neat so anytime that you do a project on a boat that's impossible and so my whole house gets like torn apart which puts me in a really bad space just to like begin with not to mention the fact that we're also doing like frustrating projects and stuff like that and I don't know I like a project where like something's messed up and you're like oh yeah this looks terrible let's fix it and make it look super nice but I hate projects where it's like I was totally fine with the way that was and we have to freaking tear it all apart and do it I don't know it's just a lot for me right now and I think I'm kind of a bummer to be around. Nestor just <laughs> doesn't seem so keen on hanging out with me, but this is like real life. I feel like on social media and YouTube and whatever, you rarely get to see like the not so great times. Everyone's always happy and enjoying themselves and having a nice time. And like the truth of the matter is, I think there's a lot of times where, especially in the sailing world and being on a boat and stuff where like everything kind of falls apart and like shit hits the fan or you just find yourself months deep in a project you thought would only take a few weeks and it's like a little depressing and a little not fun for sure the like good times outweigh the bad I would say like you when it's good it's so good and really amazing but you know we have definitely had our times where we're like, screw this, sell the boat, we don't want to do this crap anymore, let's rent an apartment and have a landlord that takes care of our crap and go travel around and enjoy ourselves. So, you know, it's not the easiest lifestyle. When it's rewarding, it's very rewarding though.